Really, these people are, are gems. They're living legends who get really good music. And welcome to Funky Uncle Live from the Tux Den here. I'm Leslie Cooper, and I'm so glad that you are here with us tonight. Week 77. Can you believe that? 77 weeks. You have been helping us raise money for musicians and gig workers here affected by... Not sure, we put on a lot of really great concerts here, live from Funky Uncle on Friday nights. But what's it really all but about? you can make it better because you can donate. It's so easy. Text FUNK to 36413 or go to our website, funkyuncle.live, and there you can do the Funky Shop and check out all of our merchandise. You can check out our prints of all of our Frenchie paintings, and you can even bid on the Frenchie painting that is going to be created tonight. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. It's very simple, though. Text FUNK to 36413 or click on that donate button on funkyuncle.live. We are here tonight to tell you about all kind of exciting things that are going on. I want to invite you to, especially to our Funky Uncle Jazz Fest. We may not be able to meet at that fairgrounds out in Gentilly, but we are going to make it happen. The Funky Uncle is going to make it happen. We have got October, the two weeks of October that would have been our Jazz Fest. We've got an incredible lineup that I'm going to tell you more about. You can also check it out on our website. <sighs> we have been celebrating our success by repeating, not repeating the shows, but inviting back the first few bands that played. Soul Brass Band is here with us tonight, and these guys were our second band, I believe. They were our second band back in April of 2020, and it is so wonderful to have them all back. I cannot begin to tell you guys. Thank you all so much for coming in tonight and helping your community, your brothers and your sisters in the music community here in New Orleans. We're going to get this music started, and you know how you make that happen? It's very, very easy. All I need you to do is to wash your hands and stomp your feet.
full of faith Through kindness and compassion We can conquer hate
strong But you the one who endure it And I'll be running all night long Everybody's still Everybody's got their life Living in that city Everything nothing but strong Life is all about levels I keep climbing high and high Never will I say to Levels, y'all, the title track out there, latest album by Soul Brass Band, The Levels. <laughs>
Visa, American Express. I ain't got nothing against no credit cards, but the cash is the best. I said MasterCard and Visa, American Express. I ain't got nothing against no credit cards, but the cash. That's what I need. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. That's what I need. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. That's what I need. To share with you my story. Would you share your dollar with me? See with daddy, no we. I got five on it. Da 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 
right over there. Right over there. I want my money worth. I want my money worth. Yeah. I want my money back. Give me that money back. about to kill this old woman this is only the first set i tell you what are we having fun i hope you're having fun we are here at the funky uncle live right here from the tux den want to thank the uh the crew of uh tux for letting us have a home for these last 77 weeks uh minus a few weeks that we were over at frenchie's and uh we do appreciate that air conditioning for sure 77 weeks. Wow. You know what? We have raised, you have raised this time because it's really shaping up you you know where he's going with this or you think you know where he's going with this so you continue to watch click on that donate on the Frenchie button Frenchie you uh, were away from us last week but you were here not only in spirit but you were also here on camera you you uh, you phoned it in <laughs> you actually phoned it in uh, we have been scattered to the four winds and we are so Happy to have you back in the house tonight. Thank you so much. You can be a proud owner of this painting because I, when I see a Frenchie painting, I hear the music that was played. I really, really do. So Frenchie has painted a painting, live event painting, each and every week, and the proceeds from that have gone to help 616 musicians and guests. Got it. We've got a long way to go. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Check out our website. Check out the Funky Shop. Shop some of our merchandise, the prints of the, old, uh, the other paintings in the past. We have three paintings that are still available. Brent Anderson, Eric Struthers and Friends, Mustache Petting Zoo, and Bones of Uncertainty, and the Jason Neville Funky Soul Band. That was last week. It's still available you can be a proud owner of a Frenchie. If you've ever seen one in person, you know it's worth every penny. There's another way that you can help, and that's to become a sponsor like our sponsors, Faubourg Private Wealth. And we've got a new one tonight. Guess what it is? Yeah, trees. 
Yes, yes, indeed. Look, they're, they're everywhere. They're all over the den. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for being a sponsor. And if you think your business can benefit from having your name attached to the funkiest show on the Internet, then you click on that Become a Sponsor button. And I am ready to hear some more music. Are y'all ready to give it to me? Are y'all ready? You got to You gotta wash your hands and stomp your feet.
have not finally got a son. I was out there in the cold, oh yeah, scratching up for crumbs. I was, wish that I could say I was. On this next song, we like to feature my good friend, Mr. James Martin. See the crystal raindrops fall and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through to make the rainbows in my mind. Girl, I think of you sometimes. I want to spend my time with you. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. No time for tears Wasted water's all that is And it can make no gardens grow Good things come to those that wait Now to those that wait today We got to go and all we know
Frenchie painting. Oh my gosh, it is 
it's it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. You can be the proud owner of that. You can bid on that Frenchie painting right there on our website, thefunkyuncle.live. And there's so many ways that you can you can do that. You can check out our um, our merchandise store. But I want to tell you about a special thing. Let me let me pull it up here so that I can make sure I read it correctly. Everybody's got that funky uncle, right? The one that shows up at family holidays and really makes it a lot of fun for the kids. But all the adults are kind of like, oh my god. That makes us all funky cousins. And if you click on, if you text three six, if you text funk to three six four one three, and click on the recurring donation, you can re become a recurring donor for just a dollar a month and be part of the funky family, and and support our mission and, and show that you, your love and show your love of what we do. But to become a funky cousin, I want you to become a recurring donor of $13.13 a month. Can you do that? I think you can. I know that I spill more coffee in the bottom of my car, in the floorboard of my car, than that once a month. $13.13 .13 to become a funky cousin. We sure would appreciate all of your support. There's another way that you can support us, and that is by buying your tickets to the Funky Uncle Jazz Fest. Funky Uncle Jazz Fest series. On October the 8th, we have Grammy Lifetime recipient Leo Nocentelli. He is going to be joined by Big Chief Donald Harrison, Big Sam, Jamal Baptiste, uh, Bill Buda Dickens, Elise Testone, and Steve Perlou. Oh, and John Papagro, and more, and more. In other words, he's got a big group of people on the stage. On the 9th of October, we have got Jason Neville's Funky Soul Band with Big Chief John on the next week, the 14th, is the Funky Uncle All-Stars. You never know who's going to end up there. Anybody that has played at the Funky Uncle, it's a potential that they just might show up. On the 15th, Walter Wolfman Washington. Everybody loves Walter. He is uh, was the king of the crew de vu. All you crew de vu people, y'all need to come out and check him out on that night. And then on the 16th of October, Mark Mullins and friends, we had them here on the Funky Uncle. And what a show that one was. That one was really, really incredible. AOS Interiors and Foberg Private Wealth are going to be our sponsors for that. And it's very, very easy to get to. It's in the 300 block of Carondelet at the Voodoo 2 Lounge. Come on and join us. We might not be meeting at the fairgrounds, but I tell you what, it's going to be a lot more comfortable and the beer line is going to be a lot shorter. I promise you that. Please don't forget to check out our merchandise and say thanks to our sponsors again. Yeah, Trees and Boberg Private Wealth. Now, I am ready to hear some more music. You guys ready? You know what? Have y'all done? What have y'all done? Did y'all all leave and go do this? Did y'all wash your hands and stomp your feet? <laughs> Me again, I hope that you have been the 
kind of person uh, that you really are now. You got to get it straight. Oh, could I ever believe? Well, you're my one man taking up my time. Oh, oh, how did you ever allow? I guess I wonder how how you could get out of pocket for fun. Ha, ha. When you know that you'll never know. I wish I could get this message over to you Fun brass band show, or a James Martin band Aww. show, or Red Hot brass band show, or you pulling your damn makeup in the mirror, or Hacienda brass band show, or a Tremay brass band, or Delphi on Uptown Orchestra. Hope you're going to see any of the goddamn bands. You crash, crash into a ditch. I'm just, just playing. playing. Need a go.
Y'all give it up for Derek Freeman back there. Mr. Smoker. Thank you. 
Cindy, when my dream boat comes home, when my dream boat comes in, we will have raised enough money to take care of all of our musicians and all of our gig workers and help them through all of this. Now, um, I just want to get you to take a look at Frenchie's painting. It has, I mean, it's come to life. I can hear the music, can you? And if you can, then you need to click on that bid on the Frenchie painting. That's right, bid on that Frenchie painting right now. I uh, want to say it's so easy. It is so easy to support. You can click on the donate button. You can text FUNK to 36413. You can become a sponsor like Foberg Private Wealth or Yeah Trees. And um, you can become a recurring member. You can become, become a... Um, now, guys, we're going to ask for one more. We're ask, I'm asking you for one more. Yeah, we got one more. Yeah, don't, don't what? Yeah, we got one more. Right after this, we got one more. And then after that one more, we've got um, an interview. Derek, I'm going to ask you a lot of uh, deep, dark, secret questions. You got answers? <laughs> All right, next week we've got Sam Price and Friends, and the week after that, the Gary Allman Band. That one's going to be cool. Don't forget to check out our tip, um, our Jazz Fest, Funky Uncle Jazz Fest at the Voodoo 2, the Voodoo 2 Lounge, and that is at 3.30 Carondelet. That two weeks that we would have been doing Jazz Fest that's when we are going to have a lot of fun. Yes, indeed. All right, so like I said, I want to ask them, can y'all give me one more? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So, guys, this time I need y'all to tell everybody what they need to do. What do they need to do? Wash your hands and stomp your feet. <laughs> Feels okay. Yeah, 
James Martin on tenor saxophone. All the way from New Orleans. Doyle Cooper on the trumpet and vocals. All the way from New Orleans. Mark Left Round on the trumpet. All the way from South Terrible Parish. Terry Stapley on the trombone, y'all. All the way from New Orleans. If I'm back, surprised, you know what I'm gonna tell y'all. On the Sousa phone, get up for Corey Boston. All the way from Walker, Louisiana. On the bass drum, get up for Kyle, Sharon, Matero, Shabram. And ladies and gentlemen, the girls and vocals put their hands together for Derek. Y'all, soulbrassman.com. Get up for Frenchie in this month. Soulbrassman.com. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you. Y'all stick around because as soon as I, in just a minute, we're going to ask Derek, the leader, some questions. Derek, we're going to get you a chair and a, a oh. beverage. Oh, nice. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that and get you some light there so we can see you. A chair and, and a beverage. Uh, look, if you missed any of tonight's show or any of our other shows for that matter, Please check us out on the funky uncle dot live. Be sure and check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Become part of the funky family. We need you. We need you now more than ever. Our musical community is is in jeopardy and we've got to have your support because it just it really really means a lot. It really really does. In the 77 weeks, like I said, we have raised 491,000 ten dollars and 46 cents we have helped 616 of our musicians and our gig workers because you know for every band that's working out there or not working out there we have sound engineers and lighting directors and all sorts of folks that need your help also so check it out text funk to 36413 become a funky cousin you know i didn't get to tell you a while ago for that thirteen dollars and thirteen cents a month you're going to get one free uh piece of our apparel from our funky shop it can be a shirt a hat socks whatever you want it to be special coupon codes for the funky shop you're going to get that 10 percent discount when you shop Hey, Christmas is right around the corner. I won't tell you what size I am, but you can pretty much guess. And then uh, you'll get special emails, newsletters, and you'll be the first to know when things are going on here at the Funky Uncle. Don't forget to get your Jazz Fest tickets for those two weeks in October. Check it out on the website. It is way too easy. All right. Next week, like I said, Sam Price. The week after that, Gary Allman Band. All right, so... Let's uh, let's get down to this. Are you, uh, is everybody? Uh, we, we're getting him all all spiffy here. One more time, we can take a look there at um, at Frenchie's painting because it is still available. As uh, as are a few more. Brent Anderson, Eric Struthers and friends, Mustache Petting Zoo, The Bones of Uncertainty, and the Jason Neville Funky Soul Band. That one was painted via. Uh, were you on Zoom, Frenchie, I think? Were you Zooming? <laughs> You'd be Zooming, weren't you? From Colorado. That's right. That's where you were. You were from Colorado. All right. So, Derek, you got your uh, you got your mic. You hooking up? There you go. Yeah, I'm good. You're good. All right. So, let's, uh, first of all, thank you so much for returning to the Funky Uncle. Um, oh. I uh 
It's so much less tense this time. <laughs> well, you know, I can imagine. Um, you know, when you got that call back in April of 2020 um, to, to come and play, the, it was the second ever show. Um, it was a real scary time. People weren't even leaving their houses. Right. And, um, and what, did that, what did that mean to you and the band to, uh, for them to call you and say, will you come and do this? It was great because we had um, we had already just started doing a few um, virtual things by um, piecing things together, like you know, for um, on the internet, like but not together. We you know we just like record uh, different parts of a song and put it together for the video, you know, like everybody was doing. Um, and I tried to, I tried my best to talk to everybody as much as possible, but that was the first time I seen most of them in probably a month, you know. Um, so it, it was good to, to um, feel the camaraderie, but again, it was scary. You know, it was the middle. It was the middle of the, the shutdown, and it had um, just started. It had just started. Yeah. We were sli slightly and apprehensive, but um, we needed to play. You know, um, so it, it worked out well. And then, you know, I could tell when we did it that it was going to be successful. So I'm, I'm glad to see a whole year and a half go by and still going down. So um, you know, that makes me happy for sure. A year and a half. Wow, mm -hmm. I remember that that night. I was uh, I was with a friend, um, helping to take care of her, and and you know y'all were wearing gloves and y'all were like ten feet apart. Right. Y'all were, weren't even <laughs> trusting the sick. It was like, wait, was that a D? Did you just play a D? Wait, wait, wait. Hey, how are you? Wait right, over right. there. It, it was pretty. That was pretty interesting, you know. Um, so, like I said, that was how, that was that long ago. So, Soul Brass Band has always interested me because the tradition of New Orleans music permeates the city and this music. The traditions walk hand in hand down those streets with, with the music that you play. And how do you use and pay respect to those traditions when you are writing new music and, and exploring new territory? Um, I just take myself to, to a place... Um, in New Orleans, like for example, when, when I when I wrote the song "Open Your Eyes," um, I was just thinking about Mardi Gras morning, and you know all all the all the feelings you have that day. I mean, that's why I came up with the line about um, early in the morning with the skull and bones creeping around your home, because um, you know that's the stuff that happens early in the morning on Mardi Gras. So is open your eyes, and hear New Orleans, you know, or open your ears and hear New Orleans. Open your eyes and see the sun, basically. So that that was, so. Um, that, that's that's how I do it. If, if if I'm writing a song, um, that encompasses a New Orleans thing, I just try to take myself to that place, you know. And as long as I stay in that feeling when I'm writing it, it usually comes across in, in the music, you know. It, it's part of your life, so yeah, it's I mean, go, it's gonna come in right. in, in your music. I would <laughs> exactly. Say. Uh, oddly enough, I was gonna ask you um, when you wrote "Open Your Eyes," who did you think you were saying that to? Um. That's a great question. Um, I don't know who I was saying it to, but I like I originally wrote the song for Dr. John. Um, I mean, he was like he was already sick and I think almost gone by the time we recorded it. And then uh, then I was gonna get Cyril Neville, but for some reason that we got recorded, Cyril wasn't around, and so I, um, Ivan Neville. What, it, it seems like he was a default, but he wasn't. It's amazing to have Ivan Neville on the record. Um, he's also on my new record coming out, by the way. But also, um, so it was it was just to have somebody in that vein, like to 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 to, to conjure up the spirit of of, of, a, of a Dr. John. But I guess if you to answer your question, I guess it was more about. Um, I guess it was, it was more to like transplants or to newer people from New Orleans, just to help them realize, like, you know, like like I said, you know. Open your ears. <laughs> you Pay know. attention. Right. Pay attention. Basically. We've uh, speaking when you brought up Dr. John, we've we've lost so many great people mm -hmm. from our community this last year and a half. And um, talk a little bit about how New Orleans uses its music to honor them while simultaneously healing the pain of losing them. And do you have any songs that you would normally play for, for a funeral? Yeah, a, a bunch. <laughs> Obviously, um, 
<laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. there's a lot of funeral songs. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, ask me the question again. I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I got to think about it. I'm going to need to ask that one. Right, right. So talk a little bit about how New Orleans uses the music to honor them while simultaneously healing that, that pain of, of losing them. It, it, it's just that. It, it's a simultaneous thing. It's hard, it's hard to separate the two. I mean, it, it is, I mean, the morning, the healing is part of the morning. It's just, it's just a thing. Um, the music, the music, it, it evokes several feelings. It, you know, it, it makes you sad and reflective, but also there's a joy in it and a, and a, and a, and a comfort and a, um, a release. You know, it's like almost, um, it's like relief music. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, he or she made it, like, mm-hmm celebrate the fact that they made it you know what i mean so it's it's there there's a beautiful sadness in it but it, it there's also a, it, it's it's a um it's a conclusion you know what i mean it, like it, it, it's it's how you seal somebody's legacy or their, or their life in, in new orleans you know it's through song you know do you feel more um at whilst while celebrating someone's life um do you feel more uh, comforted by playing their music or playing something else for them? I, I don't, I, I don't, that's a hard question to answer. Um, it, it just person. depends on who it is, you know, like, um, um, like Ellis Marcellus, for example, like he had, he had a certain song repertoire, you know, I mean, he knew all million songs but but you know there was like five or ten songs that you know he played I mean, the whole time you know i know him so like in that regard you would try to play like a set you know similar to like a set ellis would play you know what i'm saying or just like you know we just played um when my dream boat comes home so we you know we do a tribute to fast domino while we not just play fast domino songs also we've done that before in europe and stuff like done tributes to dr john or we usually, we usually play their music if, if it's in tribute form not necessarily at the funeral, you know, because they're just trying, we're just celebrating a life, and there's just a certain repertoire that goes with that. But yeah, if we're gonna do like a tribute to the person, absolutely, you try to play their music. Play their music. Yeah. It, that makes you feel better. That's. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I and I think a lot of musicians feel that way. Mm-hmm. I have had one musician answer that question with, um, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm, I want to play something for them. I, I can't play it like they did, and I don't think anybody wants that. I, I think. Yeah, it's just about it's about conjuring up the feelings, you know, and, and what easier way to do that than than the music? <laughs> I mean, uh, it's right, such a reflection right. of the person that you're that you're honoring. It just makes sense to me, but I, I can see that too, though. I can see that somebody responding that way and because right. there is like a you having a reverence to these people, and you know you don't want to, you know, crap on our music, but right, so, you don't want to. You don't want to crack that note. Right. <laughs> now, um, you have amazing roots in, in your music mm-hmm. to the historic New Orleans brass bands. Um, I, I feel your, your youth in them, in your music. I feel your generations lurking over your shoulder, uh, like, like right here on the, no pressure, they're all watching you. Right. But, um, and, and in some of the songs, I feel both of those, your youth and, and the generations there. How, um, tell me about the inspirations that you get that, um, that allows you to create a new song. It could, it could, <laughs> it could come from any number of places. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I was like, I'll be on an elevator or something and there'll be some, some beep or some, some shaft noise or something. It was just like, I'll hear some groove, you know. A lot of times, I mean, I, I, I've grown, my songwriting has grown over the years where um, I know when I need to collaborate, so there's certain people I lean on. Um, like, I lean on James Martin a lot for melodies, and uh, like I lean on my friend Jamie Bernstein for lyrics, and um, I lean on Miles and Doyle, you know, for grooves and stuff like that. But, um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? I lost track. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but like lately, like how we've been writing songs, like, yeah, um, James Martin is good at coming up with little like two, three measure melodies. Uh, he'll send me like 30 of them, 40, just like little 10 second clips of things. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and you, some, and you find it. sometimes and I feel nothing. And sometimes, you know, every once in a while, 
There's always at least one out of the, the, the crew where I'm like, ooh, okay, I hear something with that. And then it's like, turns, like actually, because Open Your Eyes was a, a thing, um, or at least half of the song, um, they were, the first half of that song was like some instrumental thing that James wrote for NCIS. We just had like, all, like this file with all this stuff we had done for NCIS. And that was just like a little piece of music he did for them. And it just, I just felt a, a song in it. And that was Open Your Eyes. Yeah. Like while he's creeping down the driveway yeah. to pull his gun on somebody or something. Yeah. Right. You know? <laughs> but, then, but then it became this amazing song. Yeah. Much like all of your songs on your last album. Uh -huh. um, what is your newest single and, and, or tune and that means the most to you right now? Oh, Talk about how, how you wrote it or, or any other of the stories that, that came about with the one that is really means something for you right now. On that record, the, the tune that really means the most to me is the tune called How Far We Come. Uh, just because, you know, just the message in that, I mean, the actual title is, indicates that we're <laughs> on a journey, right? But also, it was the one song that wasn't written before the session. Um, I like to I like to always write at least one song in the studio because it's just a, a certain vibe we have while we're there. So we like to try to create. And um, so my good friend Ben Elman, who uh, produced my last record, um, he had um, he, had just, he had this weird horn riff. It was like a um, like a Middle Eastern brass band. The the beat and the, the horn riff is just in it. And um, so he's trying to play off of that, you know, and then. Um, my friend Chris Royal just came up with these uh, this chord structure to go into this horn thing. And then um, the second half I wrote, I, I was already writing these lyrics. Um, I didn't really know for what song, I just had those lyrics. Um, and, and Sean C, J Sean C, genius songwriter, great singer, he came in and um, wrote the hook for us. So, so that, that song is special to me because it was, it was like a, a great collaboration. It was like maybe six songwriters on the song. So, it, it, and, um, and I think it's, the most popular song on the record. That's a lot of Grammys they're going to have to give out, right? <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> um, the, your last album, your latest album, the title of that, tell us a little bit about that and, and the title cut. Um, most of it came from my friend Leon Brown, Kid Chocolate. Um, Kid Chocolate is, is a very interesting individual. <laughs> he... Um, He's really into not even them, but still actually like shapes and colors and the meanings behind the shapes and the colors. Yes. So um, the, the song levels um, is about that. We we most of the songs on the record we 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 wrote to um, there's like a mathematical equation to each song, you know. So we're trying to explore the, the circle of fifths and the John Coltrane circle and the Metacron's cube. I'm getting too deep. But it's, anyway, it was all about, we're all talking about shapes and colors. As, and then uh, we were in Tel Aviv, um, Israel actually, myself and Leon, and we were um, we, we were just at a bar and um, and I heard this, I just heard it. We, he was like, we were, we were just having a discussion, literally a discussion about levels in life and where we were trying to go and blah, blah, blah. And I just came up with it on the spot, like literally on the spot. Like t wrote it like two minutes. As a drummer, what instrument do you use to compose tunes? Are you a... Usually piano, yeah. Piano guy? Usually a piano. Okay. Or, or um, yeah, usually a piano. I, I come up with a bass line first normally. Yeah. First, it's the first thing I hear anyway. Pandemics, hurricanes cancellations another wave <laughs> yeah how how do you personally derek derek not band not community how do you persevere and still make this joyous music um i just feel like it, it's it's I feel like I've been gifted, you know, with this talent, um, not just for the music, but just to, for, to entertain people and to make people feel better, you know, and I, I guess, like, when I'm down, you know, the happiness of other people, like, brings me up, so I, it, it's, it's something, it's like a, it's a two-way street for me, like, I can't not do it and still also be happy, <laughs> you know, so it's just, 
It's just what it is. I mean, and the fact that it makes other people happy is just like a a, a great bonus for me, you know. But um, but really, it's just for my own personal sanity. You've been uh, a show host on uh, WWOZ, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I find that most of our show hosts just really enjoy sharing music, whether if it's something you wrote, something you're playing, or something that um, that you know that by someone else, and you're sharing it and saying, "Hey, man, you know, take a listen to this. Take take a listen to this." Does that stand true all the time? for you yeah <laughs> it does uh but not just with music i mean the really all the, all the idioms are like that because like you know i read a lot of books too so I, that'll happen with me with a book or like or like a stand-up comedian uh, you know there's all kind of um forms of artistry i like to share with people because i get inspiration from all that stuff like i get a lot of inspiration from my songs from comedians I mean, if you could tell if you listen to the lyrics of my songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for somehow, um, somehow I really relate to stand-up comedians. I can't do it. I tried it. I can't do it. But but I really relate to, to their, their lifestyle or whatever. I guess because I'm just like, I guess deep down I'm a loner. You know, I'm just an only child. So I just not, I um, I enjoy the solitude. <laughs> you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I actually really do. So, um, so um, it, it's, it's, easy, it's, it's fun to have a band because then like, things that are in my head I could I could orchestrate to get them to do the things that are in my head then it feels like a, a puppet master you know well out of the um, the the covers out of the covers that you do not uh, your originals what would what would you say is your your favorite song to play what's the most fun cover wise that you enjoy hmm. that is a great question um, tonight <laughs> we'll narrow it down to tonight. <laughs> well, I mean, I love Sly Stone. Mm -hmm. Sly is probably my favorite artist. Uh, and uh, If You Want Me to Stay was one of the first songs I learned how to sing when I was like 17 or 18 years old. Uh -huh. so literally been singing that song for 30 years. So I guess I, history would say that that was my favorite cover because it's definitely a song I've done more than any other song, without a doubt. Do you ever get tired of it? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Uh, but then it comes back. I mean, I just, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, there's other slide songs that we have done too, but I don't know for some reason that one sticks. That one sticks with you. Yeah. Two more things. What, returning 17, 18 months later, what does the funky uncle mean to you? Um, I mean, at this point, I guess it's an institution. I mean, it means it means a. Uh, it, it's part of the culture. It's, it's helping keep the culture going. It's, it's helping keep people fed. It's keeping the music, in everybody's ears. Um, so to me, it's it's just a, it's a great institution uh, of New Orleans. It's like it's like the Maple Leaf or Tipitina's or you know D. Like it's like just another great venue, and I hope they just keep it going because you know I enjoy watching the videos. Like you know, all my heroes have also done this gig. So <laughs> it's just like any other thing. You know, you you always honored to share a stage that your 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 people played on. So you know, I mean, the fact that George was here and all these are you know Leo, like you just said, and Walter Wolfman. I mean, you know, so like just be able to be on the same stage those guys are on, you know, it's, it's the same feeling I get when I'm at Tipitina's or whatever, you know. Well, we thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. Folks, it's really easy. Like he said, we've we've become, uh, we're sticking around. We're not going anywhere. As long as there's a need, as long as our musicians have a need, as long as our gig workers and our musical community has a need, we need you. We need you to please consider a contribution we had just started to come back, and we've got so much catching up to do. All of my guys, um, I go mama on them, and, but they all mean so much to me, guys and girls both, and, and I'm asking you to help. And, and Derek, I'm going to ask you, if you would please, to tell everybody what they need to do for the <laughs> funky uncle. You need to wash your hands and stomp your feet. There you go. And Thank go you. donate. Make sure you donate some money, y'all. Put some donate. money in the kitty because, uh, you know, we got a lot of people out here and everybody need to eat. <laughs> everybody needs to eat. That's right. right. Thank you so much, Derek. I appreciate it. I hope in another 18 months we can ask you back. How about that? That's absolutely. Uh, you, you, need to come and, you need to come and sit here 
next to me one night and co-host with me. I think let's that do would it. That'll be fun. fun. That would be a lot of fun. So, I mean, yeah. all right, everybody. As long as the FCC ain't watching, because you know me. Uh, well, yeah. uh, that's internet. I don't, does, <laughs> does the FCC do the no, internet? I don't know. I don't, I don't care. I'm just yeah, yeah, good. Or awesome. Not, Great. Good. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, <laughs> want to give a shout out to Soul Stew. He's still out in Cal- Colorado, I think. Is that where you are, Stu? All hail our queen of slivers, and thank you, Stu. When he, yeah, you come back and come back and co-host with me because uh, we'll have a lot Absolutely. of fun. Let's you know, come do a night with me. And um, folks, don't forget, you. It's so easy. You can text Funk to three six four one three, or click on. The funky uncle dot live. Click on that donate button. We'll see you next week. Thank you, darling. Thank you, love. I'll see y'all next week. Good night. Feel good music. I've been